there was mold on the walls, mildew. Why am I going inside in the bathroom and I'm seeing shit stains in the toilet? You don't lock your name, man. The person whom you're trying to reach is currently unavailable. Please leave a message after the video. Yo guys, I'm back with another video. Don't know where these shit ever's in the building, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like outside, I get a little mark side. I'm joking. Make sure you guys like, comment if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Today I'm going to be talking about like what it's like living in a shared house because a lot of you lots know if you don't know, I was kicked out of my house at the age of 18, I was made homeless. Being on back chat and stuff like that, you lots have had a lot of questions like where I live. Like sometimes you lots get bare personal, you know. I'm just thinking like, where do I know you lots from? Because like if me and you share bench in high school, they let me know in it. But I'm just thinking because not gonna lie, I started the story, I shared my story online, and a lot of you lots were connecting like with me, do you know what I mean? So I just feel like it might be very beneficial for me to just come in here share my journey just continue this thing because I know there's a lot of young people going through the same situation as me so if I can just kind of like come on shed a light on it my experience what it's like living in a shed house because I can't lie it's been a mad one it's been a mad one still but yeah let's get into it what are them <coughs> I need to take my hay fever tablets. For those of you that don't know and that are new to my channel, yeah, my mum came out at the age of 18. Listen, we already, you know, I already went through them emotions already, mental health, all that kind of stuff, yeah, but we moving it. How I came to find this place and why I ended up in a shared accommodation, because obviously I didn't have enough money to rent my own place. And obviously at the age of 18, what money do I have to go go on zoo plan, right, move on, all them different kind of things on them agencies to go look for flats when I didn't have the money. I just simply didn't have the money to afford my own place. So obviously when she kicked me out now, I was literally left at the option where I was actually sleeping on people's floors, from people's floors to air mattresses to air mattresses to fucking sofas from soft sofas to guest rooms obviously I don't have family over here in it so there's no one that I could actually go to and live with and plus I'm no one else's responsibility so no one's gonna take me up on their head as a child and just be like yo like like yeah come into my house kind of thing because I don't like I don't have a support system over here it was just literally me and my mum so when she kicked me out and stuff like that I literally had basically nowhere to go so obviously during that process now like I've obviously gone to the council tried to ask them to help me find somewhere to live in doing that them dotty people that looked at me and said oh, you don't have any severe mental health problems and you're not disabled at the time anyways so therefore they, I'm not a priority so for all they know I can just sleep on the streets and they're going to put me on a waiting list for someone to contact me just to see if they can do something but in that time like between the time period of when they're going to contact me and then me finding somewhere to live like it was already a long process already so and obviously I was working at the time but I ended up losing my job because my job fired me due to the whole circumstances surrounding my mom and obviously me being homeless and stuff so I lost my job at the same time so with that I had to go on universal credit and even though I didn't end up on a direct street I was still homeless because I was without a home and I was just like fam when I saw so the tables turned and I'm now like raw like I'm actually homeless I have nowhere to live I have no house I have no I have no home I have nowhere to go home and it's just like raw like you know it did lick me hard because it's just like where am I actually gonna go and then that's when reality set in like I actually have nobody to turn to no one to lean to during that process now I had to sign on universal credit with that like you get a work coach they assign you for certain things shortly after mental health kicked in I was suffering heavy with depression anxiety hospital all that kind of stuff I was going through it all and from that I was deemed uncapable to work so they were helping me out with my rent and stuff like that I currently they helped me partially with my rent so how I found this was somebody else um because obviously I couldn't find nowhere to live I know we're within my price range everywhere was friggin expensive like to live alone you would be thinking that the price that they're asking you for you will be getting your own flat but no this is just for a friggin room like people charge you like 600 700 pounds to find a room and it's just like that room will just come and look shit like yeah I live in a just one bedroom bathroom small kitchen that's it there's no garden there's no nothing eat it yes like, when I came here it's just like raw like am I really here because it's like going from a big house three bedrooms two living rooms a, a, a big kitchen and a backyard to come in one thing in box room Room with no living room like I'm going from that to losing everything like job car everything gone little children watching this if you feel like you can boost up your chest and step into adulthood I was thrown into the deep end better you stay at your yard oh, it's whoa. so expensive to live independently like people won't understand so currently I live with um, two other people in it so they're all big people Jamaicans and stuff like that like so obviously when I came here I'm just looking around like the room was just looking a bit like never had been seen this yet there was mold on the walls, mildew, like curtains on I had to come in here and revamp everything like Call the contractor. We need the contractor. We need justice. I had to paint the walls 
rules change the blinds and me have to do up the place me have to do it up but when I came here I was thinking that raw like the place looked clean but as soon as we come in here me start to look upon certain things and it's just like blood clot in here so dirty your f I wanna see the condition right in here and the germs and the nasty right now on the left foot of flies start at the place people need to understand that like, when you're living with other people yeah you have to take into account different things like people's clean and your clean is two different things when I found this place now I came here and I did the viewing and when I looked at the place it was like alright cool like I was in a rush anyways like I had no time to be picky I had to find somewhere in it because the place I was staying at she was just saying that right like you need to hurry up and go like I'm like it was not agreed for me to keep you here kind of thing so I just had to hurry up and find somewhere so this is the place I had to come to it's like my landlord's very nice he's a very nice person but yeah I just come here and I was just looking around like okay maybe I can do it like maybe I can do it I was thinking you know just looking at the kitchen real quick but then I deep that them man there tidied up the place before I came and when I lived here the cleansiness that I met with is not the same cleansiness that would have been maintained throughout my time staying here they just tidied up the place for it to look friggin clean and then as soon as I came here and handed you over my rent money that's when we start to see actual colours and it's just like bro like bro go away <laughs> Like, you lot really catfish me, you know. Anyways, now, so we come in here, and at the time, somebody helped me move in, innit? We start to open up the wardrobes. I'm looking at the wardrobes. I'm seeing, like, mold on the wardrobes. I'm seeing mood on the wardrobes. Like, at the end of the day, I have no shame. This is my real life. This is my reality. At the end of the day, this is what I'm living. This is my story, innit? And I had to clean that out. Imagine, I'm asthmatic, and I had to do that, innit? Like, it's very bad for me to be doing them kind of things, because I even asked him to sweat out, and he didn't know what he didn't know how to deal with it. And I'm just like, what is the purpose of being a landlord if you don't? know how to deal with certain things. I'll go inside the bathroom now and I'm seeing that mold going up. Oh my god. At this point the streets is calling my name. I'm going to the streets. Jamaicans just brush everything off and I'm just thinking like bro like you stuff like mold and stuff like that you have to sort that out do you know what I mean. But when I moved in here he shows me what's mine from what I can't use. So obviously I get two shelves in the friggin fridge and I'm thinking like bro who's supposed to survive off two shelves? Do I look anorexic to you? Like, hey, yo, people, let me tell you some time, you know? Like, there's some days where I'm just like, I'm hungry and I need to go inside the kitchen, kitchen and cook, but I can't because someone else is already in the kitchen cooking, do you know what I mean? So it's just like, you have to wait for other people to cook. You could be in a rush to go somewhere, you know? And the moment that you decide to get up and go inside the bathroom, someone else has already gone inside the bathroom. Uh, those are the kind of things that used to piss me off. I don't like other people using the bathroom before I used the bathroom because I don't like the use feeling. So obviously, when I was at home, I used to tie my mum when she used to go inside the bathroom. I knew my sister was going to wake up so I could just do everything before everyone else and then cut. But it's like, it could be an emergency and I need to go take a shower and I can't go take a shower because there's someone else already in there. And it's like, you go in there, the bathroom's wet up and... Oh, fucking hell, man. Shit. <coughs> could you imagine, like, you're living with grown-ass people. You would think, like, if you live with other people, you should be more clean. You should be more mindful of your cleansiness. Isn't it? Why am I going inside in the bathroom and I'm seeing shit stains in the toilet? <laughs> Move this now. Move blood clot this now. Yes, move this. You go inside the bathroom now. You look inside of the toilet. You lift up the toilet seat. I hear this shit standing in the toilet. Like. Me no matter why I use a toilet no more. Me all that shit. You know what the wickedest thing is? Like, there's times where I would have to like actually just man up, do it myself. But I'm thinking like, if I am at my young age and I'm living with people that are like 40 plus, like, what do you think you look back in the toilet to see if you've left shit stains in the toilet and then clean it? I make sure every time I use the bathroom, me have to go in there and clean up the, me clean up blood clot before me go and use it. Like, I don't play like, you have to go in there and spritz out the thing like me spritz out every blood clot to me from the bathroom to everything like you think I'm joking like bro when I use the toilet I'm telling you that I wrap around I wrap around the toilet about four times throughout the year I've been living there for about a year and a half throughout the year and a half I wrap around the toilet about four times with toilet tissue before I sit my ass in that toilet and use it and you know there was there where you have to put the fucking tissue in the toilet in a, in a, um, you have to put the damn tissue in the toilet so it doesn't splash back up in your ass because I don't want no bacteria going up in my body for me to catch AIDS yeah blood I wrap around the Toilet about four or five times before I sit my ass down and use it because I don't want everyone what everyone else is. I like when my body is nice and smooth in it. Like I, I don't want no bump, no scratch, no bump, no nothing on my body, bro. I don't want to run them joke there in it, man. I clean you. I run through cleaning products like no tomorrow. Like I'm spraying door handles and especially going through COVID as well. Like going through COVID, being in one room, no living room, so there's no place where I could just go skin out. There's no place where I could just relax myself and be like, yeah, I need a breather from the room. Me being in four walls. 
schools, yeah, it was doing my nothing. I was going to law sit. I was going to law sit. People will tell you if you're hungry, yeah, call me and I'll bring you food. Where are those people now? Everyone that said to me, oh, no, I'll be here for you no matter what. If you're hungry, call me for and I'm gonna bring you food. When we did hungry, we only did death, yeah? We only did death. Because <laughs> you know something, we only did death. But there's days in here where I just feel like, bro, like, I don't wanna. If you don't cook, you don't eat. You know what I'm saying to you? Like, again, it's a roof over my head and I'm grateful for it. But, bro, I was embarrassed and I was ashamed to be in this place. Like, I was very much embarrassed. I felt ashamed. I was just like, fam, is this really my reality? Like, I'm living in a shared house. Like, I was scared to speak to a girl. I just, like, my friend, like, I just couldn't. At my young age, people would just be like, oh, like, do you live with your mom? Like, I, like people just assume that you live at, home, uh, live at home. And I'm not going to be the kind of person to stop you. I'm like, no, bro, I actually live alone. And they, and they ask, where do you live? Like, and you're telling them that you live in the house here. Like, just the whole stigma around it. I was very embarrassed at, it, at the beginning. And now, like, I put my story out there. There's nothing to be ashamed of because at the end of the day, I know how, I know God has something greater in it. And maybe God is bringing me through this process for a specific reason because I know when God blesses me with that house, I'm declaring by the end of this year, like, I want to move out by the end of this year, 110%. 110%, that's why I'm working super duper hard. That's why I need you lots of support, like like up the video and all them different kind of things. Follow me on my platforms, isn't it? It's just like, I'm working super duper hard this year so I can like move out, start my businesses, do them different kind of things because I feel like I've really had it, I've really had it up to here. I've had it up to here, up to here. Like, oh guys, the level of inconsideration that you lots of meet when you get into one of these places, like, fam, I'll be in my bed, you know, sleeping, sweet deep sleep. And you have to remember, other people's time clock ain't like, people get up at eight o'clock, nine o'clock here, and I'm in my bed sleeping because I get up around 10. Hey, yo, what are you? What is wrong with you? I, 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 you know, man. Like, why would you wake up in the morning and choose violence? Why would anyone in wake up in the morning and choose noise? Like, it doesn't make sense. Why would you choose violence so early in the morning? Like, it's actually okay. It's a gully creep. Like, sometimes you just you just go creep into the kitchen, creep in the bathroom, do what you go do and leave. Oh, my gosh. You could be in your bed sleeping, yeah? And you're waking up to all different kind of rumors. You've woken up in a buffet. You didn't know you're waking up to Indian food. You didn't know you're waking up to Chinese food. You don't know why you're smelling oil and fried egg. Like, why are you? Why am I smelling so many different things? It's like, bro, I'm even thinking that the house is burning down at one point because I'm hearing fire alarm going off early, early in the morning. Like, all them different kind of things there, you know, like, them kind of things just drive me up the wall. Like, you just really tested my patience. Imagine you're going through a certain situation and people are like, oh, no matter what, you can trust me. If you need anything, call me. As soon as you and them fall out, Ah, uh, this is why this happened to you. This is this, 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 this. look at the environment. Look where you stay. Like people are trying to shit. And I'm like, fam, why are you wasting my time? No, but I hate when people like. Why do you want to waste my time? I don't understand that. Why do you want to? Stop wasting my time. Stop wasting my time. Leave me the fuck alone. Stop wasting my time. I run through this shit. I run through this shit like it's water. Like the amount of and when I moved in here, I had two boxes. I had this bed, and that was it. You run through these like it's water. Like this is almost done. Like this is this is this is basically done. This is done. Like I do two hundred pounds worth of grocery shopping a month, innit? Well, a month or maybe like every few weeks, innit? And it's just like when you do that now, you really see how everything just goes. Like it's really damn expensive. I haven't been in relationships because I feel like like I shouldn't be indulging in relationships when I haven't patterned myself yet. Like if you feel like you can have sex in a shared house, like more well, especially here anyways. You done lost your damn man. You can't have sex here so cause I can hear everything that goes on in this room. Like you have no shame. There's more time where my man would bring girls back into the house here yeah? and I'm hearing every kind of dogo dogo that's going on inside there. And then the walk of shame as well. I book her up in the hallway. And yeah, yeah, you you don't feel shame. Now number one, that bed sheet probably hasn't been changed in like three months you know shame are uh, you not embarrassed like you have no privacy when you're here like you feel like you can just forget your towel in the bedroom and run out you can't do them things that you think you can run out and forget your towel anyway like you have to hand everything you have to remember to take all your soaps all your towels i have to wear slippers inside the bathroom because i don't want my foot to catch no fungus bruv you think i'm playing i'll go inside the bathroom sometimes and look inside of the bath and i'm seeing even black dirt lines around the thing and i have to spritz that shit down with bleach and all of them different kind of things i know around when it comes i don't want to catch nothing blood oh my gosh like anyhow the curtain touches my skin i am dettling down my skin bro because i just feel like it's so disgusting like no god forbid that curtain touches me Bro, like no. no bro and you could be going through shit in here yeah and nobody would know about it like you could be crying you could be going through your depression you could be going through your anxiety like your mind could be doing the most and nobody would know
Like that's it, like nobody would know. Like there's days that I've just been locked in my room and nobody would know. And that's a scary part because I like, suppose I did something one day. God forbid obviously like now I'm okay in it, but like God forbid something happened one day, nobody would know. There's strength in struggle and I feel like if you're going through and you're in a certain predicament like myself, like don't feel ashamed to go through it. Like you're not alone, just you know what I'm saying? And I feel like being in places like this, like it really teaches you valuable life lessons, like how to manage your money better, how to clean better, how to cook. Like these are necessary things that you need to go through and sometimes like, as much as I look at God and I'm like bro like I'm really I really don't want to be here because sometimes I just go in the kitchen I just look at the salt and the stove don't look too great or I'll go inside of the sink and I'm just deep in like yo like the cloth just looks and the kit like everything like the bins over like the bins are overflowing and stuff like that like you open the fridge and some days like there's no food in the fridge like and I'm telling you like if you're at home don't leave yeah if you do not have to leave your house don't leave stay home like this is not the kind of independence that you want like if you want to move out like make sure you have the money to move out into your own place and make sure you have enough money to survive like if you can work out your differences with, with whatever parents and like sort things out obviously don't stay in a toxic environment i would never advise anyone but i'm telling you guys it's really hard like there's some days i just want to give up there's some days like i've gone through suicidal thoughts being in here and stuff like that like some days it's actually a lot because you're just deep and like your environment really changed like you're not happy where you are and, like it's not clean to your standard like there's certain things and just like you can't really complain because number one beggars can't be choosers and i just think like people glamorize this life of being independent like it's really not a glamorous lifestyle if you can't afford it like me personally i'm not gonna say i can afford it just because people see me on social media taking for like no don't make assumptions based off what social media shows you and i'm not gonna come on here and stunt and hide and don't force yourself around people because at the end of the day your struggle is your struggle and people won't understand your story because they haven't even walked a mile in your shoes you know what i'm saying so like listen i'm in a room but just wait on me wait on me the kid has to come up and i'm declaring it in this video like manifestation bro things are going to have to get better things are going to get better for you don't rush anything if you can stay home stay home but yeah that's just to conclude this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like comment subscribe listen i'm telling you the elevation has come this year so i really appreciate you guys for supporting it follow me on all my platforms instagram and all the different kind of things there tiktok because we've been blowing up the numbers over there stay all right man. thank you guys for joining my community and my family in it i fuck with you guys heavy for real see you guys in the next video only up from here and we're out peace Yo, pull up with a drip, drip, minor. You know my style in a regular. Stylish playboy, we ain't similar. I'm a shartish in a regular.